everyone, thanks for coming back again. In today's video, we're going to cover removing the heater core from the truck and disassembly. I sent the heater core out to be pressure tested and make sure it was still functional. I eventually want to get with uh, air conditioning in the truck, but uh, for right now we're going to go put the heater core back in until uh, we see where the budget comes in at. Uh, another thing we cover in this video is plasma cutting. That was a lot of fun. I used a plasma cutter to cut the inner fender wells. Um, also cleaned up the frame a little bit from one of the old cross members that the previous owner hacked out with a torch. So we cleaned that up a little bit with the plasma cutter. Uh, we welded in the trailing arm brackets. Dan did a pretty good job of that. So those are welded in now and front ends pretty well secured in there, the front suspension. We also boxed in the frame um, right by the front suspension also just to strengthen that a bit. Fortunately in the 64 trucks you can leave the very front cross member and that really helps stiffen up the frame and uh, you don't have to cut that out for the Crown Vic suspension to fit in there on the 64's. I think 65 you do have to remove it uh, because of the different suspension. So let's get to the videos and hope you enjoy them. Here we are back again. I pulled out the heater core today to send it out to a radiator shop to get checked out. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get air conditioning in it this year so I want to definitely have heat and basically there's four bolts on the outside here that hold it in one right there one over here one down here and then one all the way over here and uh, I took the fan cover off which is right here and basically once you get those four bolts out the whole assembly came out and I'll show you a shot of that so here's the heater core assembly, and this is the side that would bolt against the firewall. Those are the three bolts right in here that I pointed out, and all the way over here, oops, sorry about that, is the last bolt, and this one is actually loose. Um, so that one fell inside the interior once I popped it out. And the whole assembly pulls out. I disassembled it already. I want to clean up the motor and the inside of this and uh, maybe even repaint it, touch it up. We'll see. But it came out pretty easy. A couple of cables to disconnect from the motor assembly and uh, that was about it. Here's just a quick video of the heater core when I had it on the workbench disassembling it uh, mainly uh, to help me remember how to put it back together once I get the thing back. Also today was my first time using a plasma cutter. 
I cut out the fenders for uh, to clear the suspension of the Crown Vic. Um, not a great job, but you know I'll take it. I didn't hack it up too bad, and uh, I figure with the other work that's been hacked by the previous owner, if anybody uh, questions this work, I'll just blame it on him. What the heck? But the uh, plasma cutter made uh, real easy work of this. And I also used a plasma cutter over here in the frame. If you remember, this bracket was uh, left protruding several inches by the previous owner, uh, where the cross member bracket over here was cut fairly clean by the previous owner. But uh, I took this one off to match it. Uh, we'll probably be using the trans mount back there, except moving it forward a few inches uh, to match up with the Crown Vic transmission. And uh, like I said, that, that plasma cutter is a great, great toy. i got to buy me one of those someday. Well, cutting with the plasma cutter was a lot of fun. But now it's time to start welding in the trailing arm brackets. Here's some more video. There it is, welded in on this side.
Okay, we got the trailing arms, uh, the support brackets welded in. Turned out pretty good. I saw some good penetration when Dan was welding, coming through both sides. And uh, I got the kit online, which I will post a link to. A quarter inch plate, pre cut, pre drilled, $80, saved a lot of time rather than cutting it ourselves. And I'll put the link for that down below. Plates are ground down and in place. I'm going to tack those up shortly. That one's still got to be ground a little bit uh, before welding it on. Alright, go ahead. I want a professional to do it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I just ground the weld down a bit. And we're going to pull the front end out yet again. And we pull the K member out, we'll grind that bottom weld down. Clean that up a bit. Make them look a little bit nicer. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all the sparks flying. Um, next video will cover the steering wheel column uh, mock up and pedals. Uh, brake and gas pedal being installed and mock up. Uh, after that, uh, should be uh, moving on to the floor pans. Thanks for stopping by again. Hope to see you again next time. Take care.